Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of chair in Autodesk Inventor software. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use weldment and how to make the assembly. So let's get started with today's tutorial. First, we will make this frame profile for this chair. So go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and create. Now from here select start to the sketch and select the exit plane, rotate the view. Now from here select two point center rectangle. From this center point make a rectangle and give the dimensions. The horizontal dimension will be 500 and the vertical dimension here will be 400 mm. Okay. Skip. Now select this whole profile and make it a construction geometry. Now finish sketch. Okay. Now rotate the view. We will work in this view. Now from here go to 3D sketch and select the line command. From this point to this point make one line similarly till here and one line till here. Okay, skip. So, this is the base profile. Now, we will construct the vertical profile. Go to line command once again. Select this vertical plane now. Select this point and give a height of 400. Okay. Similarly, we will do to another side. Go to line command. Select this point. Select vertical face and give a height of 400 okay now this is this profile okay now go to line command once again now we will make the horizontal profile so from here three planes are given two vertical one horizontal so select the horizontal plane first click here then select the horizontal plane and give the dimension 500 okay Skip. Now go to line command once again. Select this end point, the horizontal plane, and give the dimension 500. Skip. Okay. Now go to line, make a select the vertical plane, select this green line, give a height of 450. Skip. Again select the line from this point vertical and give height of 450. Now we will select the horizontal plane and join both these lines. Skip. Okay. Now this outer frame is ready. Now we will give the bend. So go to bend command. Here take a bend of radius 70, select these edges, select this edge, here, here also, at all end point and we will give the bend of 70, this line, this line, this line and this line, ok. So this is the complete profile. Okay. Now go to line command, click on this line, select the you will select this plane now. Okay. Left and join till this point. Okay. Skip. Now go to dimensions from here to here. Change this view. Okay. The dimension here will be 150 and this point also from here 150. Now this is defined. Similarly, go to line command once again. Select this line. Select this plane. By selecting the plane, you will see the guideline. 
this blue travel guideline you will see and click here skip change the view now go to dimension from this point to this point dimension will be 150 similarly this point to this point okay, it is going outside go to coincident select this line select this point Now go to dimension once again. This point to this point, the dimension will be one fifty. Okay. Now similarly, we will do here also. Go to line command. Select this line. Now we will select the horizontal plane and with top plane, the line will be to here. Okay, skip and one more line we will make. Select here and till here we will make one more line. Okay. I'll show you one thing. Okay, they are okay. Now go to dimension from this point to this point okay you can make a reference line here or just from this point you can take the reference go to dimension this point to this point the dimension here will be of 125 Rotate, select this view from this to this 125. Now, from this point to this point, it will be 250. Rotate the view and from this point to this green point, it is 250. Now this is fully constrained sketch and finish. Now we will make the cushion or just first save it and exit. Now we will make the new folder chair. Okay. And make this name as frame and save now okay now we will make the these cushions or seat go to new take a standard part in millimeter and go to create now from here select 2d sketch and we'll select the exit plane rotate it from here select Two point center rectangle from center point make rectangle of 200 tab 200 dimension and enter okay now finish sketch and go to extrude here give an extrude of 50 okay select this edge and give a fillet of 50 mm similarly here 50 50 rotate it and here also 50 mm and apply now take the radius as 35 mm select edge and select this complete edge and apply now here take radius of 15 mm and select the bottom bottom edge and apply okay so it will look like this this will be the top face now define its color we will take it the blue wall painted glossy and save 
this will be question and save okay now we will construct the assembly so go to new from here take a standard assembly in millimeter and create now go to place we will first place the frame okay it is from chair design selling this and we will select the frame open and we will place it over here escape go to home view now you can see this is not appropriate so it should be like this and we have to constrain this it is in moving form ok to constrain it open its origin open origin of the assembly these are assembly origin and these are origin of the part the frame part go to constrain select yz and yz of this flip and apply exit and exit apply xy xy apply ok now it is not moving ok now it is constrained this is important for doing the assembly you have to constrain the first part to uh, lo uh, lock the location of the assembly otherwise all the parts will move now go to design and select insert frame it will ask you to save the assembly click on yes and here we will save assembly now it will in this frame generator you have to select here standard will be ISO the family here will be ISO 4019 circular hollow hollow section fold rule form and here you can select the size I have selected the by default sizes 26.9 dia and 2.5 thickness and you can select here I will select steel ok now complete select this complete profile at once it will generate the frame now you can see at bottom it has generated the frame in x form so select shift a CDRL plus click here click here to unselect click here to unselect and click on this construction geometry and here also construction geometry rotate the view click CTR plus click here to unselect ok now you can see if there are any extra profile being selected so this is the quickest way to select all the profiles and apply ok now it will save all the profiles and generate ok complete frame is generated now you can switch off this view select this or you can go here select this frame 1 and right click and turn off the visibility ok now this is the profile now we will change its view so select this go to appearance and here go to steel or silver you can take silver ok now we will call the cushion profiles go to assemble click on place and here select the cushion and open ok two we need and escape now to assemble these two cushions we have to make one plane over here and one plane over here so from here go to offset from plane and we will select xy plane and here give a dimension 413.45 this will be the distance 
this is a calculated distance till this end okay rotate the view now go to plane select this tangent face or pipe face and we will select this time the visor plane so the plane will be constructed tangent to this pipe okay now from here go to constraint create the view select this bottom face and this face of the plane apply now escape now select this cushion and will open its planes select this visor plane here go to constraint and visor plane of this chair apply ok now this is only cons this constraint is left it can't be moved like here only this constraint is left so for this we will select the xy plane of the chair go to constraint and xy plane of the cushion apply ok now for this cushion select this plane and select bottom of the cushion as you can see it is rotated so from here you can flush so it will flip the direction and apply now for this cushion hide this this is cushion 2 open its origin and we will select first the xy of this and xy of chair apply ok now for this movement you can just drag it till here and you can see the final view ok and ok I think this is ok you can select it and you can freeze it right click and you can go to grounded this is just for reference so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a chair profile in autodesk inventor you can hide these planes uh, you can hide them from select these two right click and turn off the visibility so this is the final result you can save it now ok so this is the final outcome i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you